like you guys had to like turn around when you, when you guys weren't filming. Like you can oh look at Oh my Tyra. god, we did! Oh, I forgot about that. Everybody go. 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 What's going on guys? What's going on? Today's a celebration. Do you guys like celery juice? I absolutely love celery juice. It's like my favorite thing to drink these days. Nothing much was over here. Chilling, 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 enjoying life. Chilling, 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 enjoying life. If you guys only understood, understand, excuse me, how fast I got this look together. Listen, today we are interviewing. We're chopping it up. I hate using that interviewing word. We're chopping it up with um, Miss Sophie Sumner from America's Next Top Model Cycle 18, the winner of the British Invasion. Oh, thank you guys so much. Yes, the big announcement is out. I'm going to be on WeTV starting in March 2021. That is exciting. Um, but okay, anyways, let me type this right fast. And today is also her birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Sophie. I'm trying to type a nice little thingy. Happy birthday, Sophie. Kissy face. Badge for Q&A. Don't get badges right now, guys. Wait till the very end. Wait till the very end to get badges for Q&A, please. I beg you. I beg you, guys. All right, posted and pants. All right, listen, this is Oliver Twist here, your little nerd boy cutie reporting for duty, here to do the Lord's work. And I am talking to Sophie Sumner, the winner of the British Invasion of America's Next Time Model. Now, I'll be very honest and say I wasn't going to reach out to her only because she had already done a Jay's chat. And I was like, well, I don't want to, you know, all the girls who had already done, J done Jay's chats, I didn't want to revisit it with them because I'm like, you know, they've already talked. Um, but you guys out there really pushed for me to reach out to Sophie. And when she followed me and commented underneath one of my photos, I was like, oh, okay, well, I'm going to reach out to Sophie. And here we are now. And today just so happens to be her birthday. So we're going to bring her in. We're not going to hold her long again because she's already done one of these and it's her birthday. Um, but we're still going to enjoy the time we have with her, which is right now. So without further ado, we're going to bring on. I got my man boobs out today. My hair oh my god! How are you? Ah, hi! Can you hear me? I can hear you. You'll learn that I'm the worst with technology. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got a clue. I'm like FaceTiming mom like this. I'm the worst. How I just heard about the the TV thing. That's oh, awesome. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yay! Thank you. Thank thank you, thank you. First of all, you look stunning. I got a ring light. <laughs> You look amazing. <laughs> Thank you. My boyfriend's like, why are you wearing like a like black glittery top at one o'clock? I'm like, why not? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Your smile is beautiful. Your hair is chopped very nice. You look very nice. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. That means thank you. And happy day to you. You look awesome. And full thank you, of thank you. Happiness. I think we probably should open this up, guys with me leading us in a collective happy birthday to Sophie. So give me one second ah! while I drink my soul with you. Wait, let me get my dog. Hang on. <laughs> get the dog. She just got fluffed. Don't laugh. It is atrocious. <clears throat> look, at, look at this. What is oh, this? what is the dog's name? <laughs> this is Peaches. She's Peter? like a... Peaches. Peaches. Like oh, Peaches. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm ready. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sophie. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. I'm going to cry. <laughs> I can give you the black version. Good. Do you want the black version? Oh, hell yes, I do. Are you kidding? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday 
to ya. Happy birthday, happy birthday to ya. Yeah, the voice. Oh my <laughs> God, you have such a good voice. Oh, thank you. I studied the voice for four years in college. I don't tell anyone though. Do you, did you watch it? Huh? Did you watch the, can you hear me okay? It's my AirPods, uh -huh. are they all right? Did you watch the voice? No, I no, I do watch the voice. No, I said I studied the voice in college for four years. Oh. I just don't tell anybody. Oh my god, I thought that was like an American, like you can study the voice. <laughs> <laughs> you got like a bachelor's degree in the voice. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Okay, listen, Sophie, I'm not gonna hold you because like I said earlier, you've already done one of these. So it was it's an honor for you to be returning back to these types of things. And plus it's your birthday, so I think you should be like skedaddling and doing all the things people do on their birthday. I know, not much during lockdown, really. Just... <laughs> but you, again, you are here in the States, in New York City, right? Yes, I'm in New York. How has it been living in New York? In this time, in like the time we're in now? Mm -hmm. uh, super interesting, super interesting. I'm kind of, I mean, if you follow me or anything like that, you'll, you'll get I'm kind of a glass half full type of person. Um, and it's been, it's been a wake-up call. Everyone slowed down, the city slowed down. I kind mm -hmm. of being fully honest, lived a life where I was like going out and partying and doing all this stuff. And it's just really aligned things that truly, truly matter and what matters oh, um, for me. So it's been, it's been a journey, but I mean, here in New York at the moment, you, you can dine outside. Um, I've been going to museums a lot because it's nice and warm and you get a bit cultured. Um, you can hang out with friends. And I, I literally just got off a FaceTime with my buddies back in the UK who are like in complete lockdown. So, um, you just got to be smart, super, super smart. I went to LA a few times and I felt a bit weird doing it. Um, but, you know, wearing a mask, keeping it, I get tested a lot. So, it's, it, you know, it's, it's kind of, it is what it is, I guess. And I've been super lucky that I've got roof over my head. And yeah. Yes. yes. Well, you look amazing. You look, you look, you look amazing. And hopefully with all of these like recent innovations in medicine, we can find ourselves finally on the other side of this whole situation yeah. and I, I and you know what i hope that i hope that it does move forward everyone i know it was kind of spoken about like going back to normal but i i hope that it doesn't and i hope that you know all our values and what we've learned and um and and the community and people you stay close to during this mm -hmm. lockdown i think you really realize who is your you know your close knit community um yeah i hope the industry's changed at the moment in film there's like oh, a lot definitely. of indie films coming mm -hmm. out a lot of artists like this, if everyone's got a phone, everyone can kind of start their own thing, you know? So I hope that people start championing that and the politics mm -hmm. of like TV and the politics of, which I know I had to say, I'm really sorry. When I watched the Alicia one, I did get like really nervous. I was just watching it before this. And I was like, um, but she, I, I, I could talk about that. Some of the things about the politics and like the TV and film industry and all that. But I, I, I think that indie and, and all this is amazing what we can do now. Like look what you're doing, it's amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. No, I definitely, you know, I don't think anything can really go back to normal. I really do think what happened in 2020 is a, was a hard cultural reset for everyone around the world. And mm -hmm. you know, I'm thinking, I, I, I think on a on on a on a on a landscape like when we look at this time in the history books, 2020 will divide when things ended and when new things started. So I just think with all the experiences we all have gotten during this time, just knowing how to apply those so that we can be better people in the future, you know? A hundred percent, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. So listen, percent. <laughs> why the girls are here, because we're gonna get into the things of the things of the things of the things. Listen, I'm just gonna open this up by asking you, of course, you already did a Jay's chat where you talked about Cycle 18. A lot of the fans, like myself, think you were just spilling a lot, a lot of tea. However, it seemed like you wanted to keep going. In hindsight, and now that you're here, is there anything you would like to share with us that you feel like you did not get an opportunity to say on Jay's chat about Cycle 18? You know what? I'm also got the worst memory. <laughs> it's like, I know, I'm really sorry. It's the Dory fish. Wait, just refresh me. You just mean like, um, kind of about, uh, what was I, what was I saying on Jay's chat? I guess, well, I, I, I guess it was more just the honesty. Uh, I think, okay, here's, here's what I think. It's taken me many years, but I figured it out. So I, I think, um, I think Top Model is an amazing platform, right? 
it mm-hmm. was it is i think it's changed a lot like social media people now can effectively just do their oh, i like that i know i keep readjusting and this wasn't how i <laughs> <laughs> i wanted you to see my pink chair but i don't think it's uh where is it it's, i'm sitting on it but... Can you oh, your pink hair. <laughs> but I can't really, I know, not my pink hair. No, everyone's always like, where's your pink hair? Secret. <laughs> Drag race reference. Um, what reference? Oh, was it? Oh, damn. Drag I haven't race. watched RuPaul a in a while. Fan. I met RuPaul. So I met RuPaul. T- okay, you tell, you tell your, you met RuPaul's story. I was at an event and there weren't many people and I've never done this. I've never gone up to anybody and asked for a photo. And I was like, I have to. I love RuPaul so much. I have to, I have to. I also met Jinx Monsoon as well. She watched Top Model. I went to her show and Bianca. A few, a few of them. I'm a big Drag Race fan. Uh, and um, and I and I, I honestly I blacked it out. I was so nervous, but I got a photo. I'll send it to you. It was oh, so dope. really nice. Really oh no, nice. please send it to me. I would love to see it. So World of Wonder, who produces Drag Race, produces the show that I'm on, and we um, Madison had an appearance in Vegas. And you, um, you can watch the vlog on her on her YouTube channel, um, T.S. Madison Hinton, and it's the Vegas vlog. But I was recording her, and we met him. First of all, he is super tall. So tall. Very skinny. He is super tall and super skinny. His skin is beautiful. <laughs> like a baby. <laughs> yeah, his skin is beautiful. And he, smell- he smells rich. Like, he smells like he has a <laughs> lot, a lot a lot of money and he just he just looked so poised i was just like this is rupaul everyone yeah it was true it's like some people have um have that air you know just that air like i saw him at the bar and i was like no that that, that, first of all that person is extremely confident which i respect Mm -hmm. the hell hell out of is so confident in who they are and just like yeah had that air and i know what you mean it's like that rich person air as well yeah, <laughs> like, like... <laughs> like i was like do i go over but then, and then it was really nice but that's so funny i love that you met as well okay back back to cycle 18 and anything yeah. you didn't that you feel like l- let me rephrase it what are some things um about your experience during cycle 18 that you were like oh my god i have to get this off my chest or people may not know this you talked about them and you, you may repeat them now but let's go at let's go at it at that angle well I, I i've seen a few things you guys have done and i think the most important thing is to you know what i will say this i think the most important thing to realize is that obviously everyone is 21 22 you know what i mean and not just 21 22 21 22 in my season before social media i wasn't we weren't like a I mean, I'm not talking for them, sorry. I wasn't a cool, sexy 21-year-old now that's on Instagram and has, like, a huge... Problem. Like, it was... I was from... I'm from Oxford. Um, it's a small place. It, I was in LA. I, it was very overwhelming. Um, I... My parents both work in television. So I think I'm a lot more... I was a lot more savvy to... the. T- I was very interested in the behind the scenes of what was going on. I All I wanted to do was talk to the producers. I wanted to, like, find out what was going on. I would, like, study the producers... And uh, they actually held a meeting where they were like, don't talk to Sophie because I was, you're not allowed to talk to them. Um, and, I'm, and, and they all got told off for talking to me. And then afterwards, now I'm friends with like a bunch of producers from, producers from like Bachelor, X Factor. So it's so interesting knowing now what I didn't know them being on the other side of it. Like now I feel like I'm on the other side, you know? Um, so I think the main thing, I guess, is that afterwards, you know, people are kind of like, and, and, and to your point, kind of what I was listening to the Alicia is, is people are like, oh, she won, right? It's got to be, they're going to be on top. They're going to be the next big thing. They're going to be this. Now, what happens is, is that you finish and we didn't have social media at that time. And, and you don't have any aftercare. I know Alicia mentioned it and I think that's really effing important. And I think going forward on these shows, they've got to have someone to help with these people's mental health because it's not normal. And it's only two months, but also like it is a very strange, like you film the whole time, you're, but you're just so young. That's the main thing. You're just babies and you put trust in all these people. And then, so I remember I won and I was like, you won. And then the cameras went off and a contract came out about this thick and they all gave me a hug and I didn't realize I won money. And the Kelly was like, what do you mean? I was like, oh, I thought you meant I won a contract worth that amount. She was like, you didn't even know you won money. I was like, I don't know, man. This has been like a fucking crazy two months. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm winning. Like, what the hell? Because they got, you know, you're, you're so like in another world. 
Um, and so the contract went down and they literally in Macau started pulling down that set. So it's not, it's not like the glamour I think you guys see on TV. You know what I mean? So the set's all coming down. And then they were like, okay, we've got your hotel room. Go into your room. And I wasn't allowed to see Laura. Me and Laura got really, really close. Actually, I was meant to see her recently, but um, lockdown and stuff. Um, but, but we meant to see her. And I rung her and I went into her hotel room. And six hours later, I was on a plane, right? And 12 hours later, I walked off in England with my parents. And then it was like, just back to life. That's a very odd feeling. <laughs> and I remember just going home and I sat on the couch and I was like, I don't, like, I'm just, I don't know. I'm so confused. Um, and, and, and afterwards, like for us as well, we didn't, we only saw it when it got sent. It didn't play in England at the same time. So we didn't really get like the, I wish now it's really fun. Like when I watched it, I don't know if you watch The Bachelor, but we've got a friend on the moment at The Bachelor. And when I'm watching it, like everyone's like live tweeting. Like it's so much fun to kind of do. Um, so I guess the main thing is just you you really don't get like an aftercare. There are a few prizes that I didn't get. Um, and it's not like a bitter thing. I just think people, I think people watching it need to remember that it's just a, sh it really is a show. And it really was Tyra's show. And it really was Tyra. They really, it's ratings and it's getting greenlit for the next season. You know, mm -hmm. it, it, that, it, that's all it, it, all these things fall down to is just like, making money off ratings and and that, that that's what it is this, this is life right so yeah <laughs> sounds a bit down yeah sorry. <laughs> I mean, guys watching like you know that's just the reality of it you know to us we're we're watching girls go for their dream but like in the grand scheme of things all this stuff is a business and you oh, know yeah. money has to be made hi Hi, that <laughs> money has to be made and things have to be green greenlit and people have like you know jobs and things they have to answer to so um it's unfortunate but it's the reality of of, of how it all functions mm. and and you're sold i mean you're you're sold on the glamour i guess mm -hmm. i think really um and also don't forget you go into it we're in la we're staying in this beautiful house we're shooting with the kardashians we're doing all this and then and and then you go back to real life. Yeah, it's just, it's a really interesting one. It's a very interesting one. But I've got friends who are actresses and friends who are X, Y, Z. And like, they'll do a film and they'll go away for like a month or two. And then it's the same thing. You're in something really highly strong. We all, I think it's just important to know that everyone, everyone, every single person in the world, whether you are Brad Pitt, whether, you know what I mean? Whether you're Tyra Banks, at the end of the day, everyone goes into the bed alone. Or, you know what I mean? Like, we all had the same, um, yeah. I don't know where I'm going. Sorry. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. I get. No, no, I get. But you know what I mean. No, I like it. you can, you can hold this all like super glamorous. But at the end of the day, everyone takes their makeup off at the end of the day, and everyone gets into bed, and everyone, like it, it's um, yeah, it's it's a, it's not a, it's a slight facade, I guess. Slight. So I'm gonna jump into these questions from um YouTube as well as Instagram. I tried to pull questions that you had to answer before. Oh my god, um, I got questions. So here we go. This is from Paolo from YouTube. And he is asking for you to do a lightning round describing each and every girl that was in the house. And so I'm going to shoot them off in the order they, in the order in which they were eliminated or went home. And you're going to tell me the first thing that comes to your head. Okay. Okay, here we go. Jasmia. Oh, striking. Mariah. Um... Uh, she was uh, cute. <laughs> she, all I remember is on the show, they just kept being like, she's a Native American. And I was like, that's really cool. Like, <laughs> I, 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 like that's cool. <laughs> um, Louise. Oh, wow. Girl boss. Candace. Oh, I think she is one of the most beautiful people I've ever seen. Ashley. Fucking funny. Asmarie. Wow. She was ahead of her time on that show. Kyle. Very American, I think. What'd you say? <laughs> what was that? I said, she just struck me as very American. Like, very gotcha. like, <laughs> okay. Simone. Like your high school American. Oh, Simone. Um, <laughs> she was a trip. She was a trip. Catherine. Oh, delicate. Ebony. Oh, wow. Um, um, focused. Um, Alicia. Powerful. 
Annalise. Oh, silly. The amazing. <laughs> and then Laura. Oh, kind. Very kind-hearted. Nice. You said you said great things about you said nice things. Nice I, things. That's good. It's, I I spent eight years like <laughs> I I think that yeah. They, 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 <laughs> so, they, they, were, they were good people. Good people. We'll 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 we'll, we'll get into that. Um, Eli Nine KF wants to know. Tell us your honest opinion about those ridiculous and Tatsabella power names you guys got. I watched it and thought, what the hell? That little kid show. Um, what the hell this little kid show is? Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, I think at that time you're so strangely like brainwashed that everything you just take everything. So like. She's telling you, you know, she's dressed as a superhero and she's telling you a superhero power and you're, it's almost like a cult, right? You're like, oh, of course, that's what we are doing now. Like, that's my life. So I guess when it happened, the, the one I found most amusing was we went to Macau and they gave us, I can't remember if I said this with Mr. J, but they gave us sleeping um, tablets for the plane. And I'd never like taken a sleeping tablet. So I took it and I stayed awake on this sleeping tablet. And then we got to hunt, we landed in Macau, we had a whole day shooting, we were exhausted. And then they were like, we went to, we thought we were going to bed and we had to go do this goddamn silkworm shoot. <laughs> and like, it was so odd. And I, can't, I think it was Mr. J and he was like, and now you're doing silkworms. And everyone was like, <laughs> and like just out of it. And then he was like, okay, we'll roll it again. And they're like, you know, camera speed. You're gonna be have all these worms all over you. And we were like, and I just remember them <laughs> desperately trying to get this reaction. And we were all so goddamn tired that we were standing there posing like this. And these worms were just falling off. And I was like, oh, cool. Like, <laughs> that's, that's cool. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it was, I guess it was silly. But you just, I honestly, I'm really one of these people that I just, I do find fun in life. And I don't take things very seriously. So these things don't really, like... You know what I mean? It, it it is what it is, and then you move on. And then you move on. Um, Zion. Wait, did you Rizzo just take a sip of? Did you just take a sip of a drink? Do you mind if I get my Coca Cola? Oh yes, no. What are you drinking? <laughs> Coca Cola. <laughs> I thought I needed Your a taste sugar. Just makes everything great. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to the girls' weekend. I'm gonna pull out my. Yes. Phone. I'm serious. I'll tell you later, but I'm going to road trip to you. I'm serious. So everyone, Sophie was like, Oliver, why don't I, why don't I just road trip to you? I was like, well, girl, you can get your ass on a plane. They're $72 right now. But I well, guess you it, must I'll see the land and the valleys and the mountains and all the chaos that's going on in America. Yes. Our road trip to New York is actually not that bad, but I just wouldn't just... <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm doing it. it it's, a, it's a long, it's a thing I've been working on for a while. I've wanted to um, road trip. It's part, it's part of the, oh, oh, look, and my face was in all these hearts coming up. Did you see that? Wait, somebody <laughs> press, if somebody presses the heart, can you see? Somebody Do it, guys, press the heart. Come on. Oh no, that's so sad. <laughs> you, you should do it like it's coming out of your mouth. Wait, you guys I hit know. hearts. I want to see it. Can we do it? Do it. Hit it. I can't heart myself. I know I'm telling them to put the heart. There it goes. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. I love that a lot. <laughs> oh, there they go. Oh, there dear. they go. There they go. <laughs> anyway, sorry, sorry. Wow, look, so many of them now. Yes, now they're exploding. It's a now heart explosion. Exploding. They call I that a heart attack. <laughs> That's perfect. Um, sorry, I was interrupting. What do um what was I saying? Um I forgot what you were saying, girl. I think we we didn't got all these hearts coming coming to the. I got okay. excited. I get. I'm I'm like a child. I get very excited by little things. No, um. you're totally fine. <laughs> I'm bad too. Listen, sometimes when I do these, my brain just goes on like a deep Aquarius. Wait, are you an Aquarius? Capricorn. You're a Capricorn, or I'm an Aquarius. Um, but like my brain gets like lost in these intricate thought processes. My boyfriend just be looking at me like, "How do we get here?" And I'm just like, "Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry." Like oh I'm going right now. So I've been doing, uh, no, I've been doing HSN recently, right, for these, my friends. Well, like, they are friends now for this company. So I'm on live TV, like, once a week <laughs> across America. And this one day, we did, like, 24 hours, and it was, like, 7 o'clock in the morning, and I was like, good night, America. <laughs> and she was 
like, it cut back to the presenter and she was just like, okay, bye, Sophie. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So I get it. Your brain just goes like, bleh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Zion Renzo wants to know, like Great all of us name. Do, Great name. Isn't that cute? Yeah, Sexy, isn't it? so cool. Zion Renzo. Hope I'm saying it right. Was there anything that happened during Louise's breakdown that viewers did not get to see? I'm going to plug Alicia's episode because I was watching it and she definitely knows what happened. Um, I I just remember, I'm so British. I remember, I always stand like this when I'm nervous. So I think probably in the episode I'm standing like this. Fucking lot. You know what they do is they keep you quite separate, I think. Um, so she had the breakdown and the human instinct is to care for somebody. It doesn't matter what's happened between American, English, whatever. Like you care, this person is breaking. She was, people break on that show. I, I, I've never seen people break like they break on this show. It's wild. And, um, and it's because you're running at a hundred all the time, right? Like they say to you before you go on, they're like, make sure you're on camera the whole time. Like literally the first, last thing they say to you after you're stuck in this hotel room for a week, they're like, grab the screen time. So that's why all these fights happen because in your head, you're like, I must have screen time to get further. It's a very, don't mm -hmm. ask why, I don't know. It's just a very odd like way. And, um, and, you, and you know when you're doing something interesting. So if I started bitching to you now and I was like, oh my God, that Tyra, then the camera would come out of nowhere, this huge camera and start filming you. So you'd be like, I know I'm saying something interesting. Um, Anyway, so we, so so the cameras when the cameras go to bed effectively when the last person goes to bed. So everyone, you're tired, you're exhausted, and I just remember she had that thing with Kelly, didn't she? That was quite interesting. Um, and I, I think the problem was is that I, I think Louise was like 20. I know I'm such a bad memory. <laughs> I think that is the best description ever in the universe of what happened between Kelly Catrone and Louise Watts. <laughs> My Sophie just now saying, oh, I think she had a thing with Kelly. Interesting. That, I think they had a disgruntled talk. That um, just blessed my heart in a very deep place. That was funny. Oh, no, <laughs> sorry. But no, it's okay. I, was, I think Alicia's episode, guys, probably will have a lot more. But I, I just remember being, I, honestly, I just remember being really sad because she was a really strong, strong woman. And it's sad. It's sad to see people that unhinged by something and that, like, you know, and then affect that much. And listen. You, like I was saying, I roll with stuff, right? I guess is the best way of putting it. Like, and, and that's not necessarily a good thing, but I think in judging elimination, like I was 20, God knows one or something, but I, we were young, young, like, you know, not like social media now, young, uh, 21. Anyway, so like I, but I think Louise was older and she, and she knew who she was. Like if I was to do that show now, I'd be a whole different person, you know? It's like, and I think maybe, and, and no, we probably didn't, we shouldn't have been talked to like that and you know what I mean and, and like I remember I, oh my god I was re-watching it before Jay's chat and I, there's a scene where Tyra at the very end comes up to me and she it's like I completely forgot about this she's on my bed in Macau and she's like you know Sophie like obviously you're not like conventionally beautiful like and she's looking at me in the eye I think she's like trying to get me to cry and she's like your eyes are really far, far apart and your forehead is really, really small and saying all these things. And I was watching it back as an adult. And I was like, what? Why is this woman telling this like 21 year old who's like at the final, very end bit that like all the <laughs> things that are wrong with her. I was like, that's so weird. Shout out to Tyra Banks, wherever she is in this world. Shout out to you, Tyra Banks. Shout out to Tyra. You know, the Top Metal fans send me like these like little TikTok videos and these like little memes um, about like, I guess like moments where like Tyra's being insensitive and they're just like so funny. And this is probably one they would do. Like other ones I've seen is like when she had um, Marvin cycle, was Marvin cycle 20? Marvin was cycle 20. He screamed out, my dad's a janitor. And everyone was like, but you didn't, but you didn't, you didn't choose him as the winner. Like little funny stuff like that. Shout out to Tyra Banks. Shout out to Tyra Banks. Shout I mean, you got you got love her. The woman built a absolute empire. Like it's incredible. I don't. Is it still on? What's that? America's Next Top Model? No, no new seasons. Oh, Sophie, you're funny. <laughs> <laughs> you're funny, and the accent doesn't help. Is it still on? Ah, I love it. <laughs> Shout out to Annalise, who is in the chat right now. Is watching she in us. here? Annalise oh, is here. Oh, hey, Annalise. Sorry, I'm so far from this thing. 
I got my right. my ring light is blinding me. Oh, that's is so it? cool! It's just a very bright ring light. I can. <laughs> yes, I... Annalise is here, and love you um, guys. Stay love tuned. you, Annalise. Yes, we shout out to Annalise. Um, I will be talking to Annalise very shortly, guys. You guys are finally oh, getting because you know. Because, you know, Annalise does YouTube content about Top Model yeah, 2. Yeah, 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 So yeah. everyone's been like, oh, you and Oliver should do something. And, guys, it's finally happened. The date is set. I just have to tell you guys and just make sure you're there. Cool. I'll be there. I'm sure every, <laughs> everyone watching is going, yes, I'll be there too. I'm just answering for the ball. Had you spoken to Louise after, like, cycle 18? No. I don't think I spoke to anyone but Laura and Annalise. Oh, that sucks. Isn't that bad? It didn't, I don't know why. No, Kyle reached out once. Honestly, I don't know. I think people's like, like I said, you kind of just go, Annalise is probably, Annalise, tell me what you think about this in the chat. But like, your lives just go, I was back in the UK. Like, you know what I mean? We, it didn't really feel like it was playing because we watched it through a link that got sent weekly. So we didn't get the excitement of like being in America and like being on the CW and all that stuff. Like, I was trying to work on a visa to come over here. Really boring stuff. But, um, but yeah, so I guess we didn't really... I mean, I'd love to see them all. Maybe that's what I'll do on my road trip, is go and see them all and catch up and see how everyone from Top Model's doing. Sophie, and you know what? You, you, you can come pick me up. I'm not going to drive you. Yeah. Because I don't I, believe I, in driving. <laughs> but I can be more support for you, you know? Can you, can you drive? I can drive. I just don't do it. So I booked my, so basically, so basically I'm, okay, I'm, I'm, I've been working on a documentary during lockdown and we're finally getting to film this documentary um, and it involves a road trip. So I uh, has very excitingly was learning how to um, drive. I booked my test, right? I'm, and I'm like, look at me, I'm an adult. I booked my driving like theory. So in America, guys, you have to have a driver's permit test before you can even get in a car. I haven't told anyone this. So last week on my Instagram, I was like, oh my god like look at me revising i wasn't on instagram because i was like you know whatever we have like like the life out there to live <laughs> like on instagram oh my god just fun. and um and i turn up at the dmv and he's like 1 30 i'm like yep that's me so sumner and i walk in <laughs> and he's like oh so you're lining look, your look, commercial license you're learning how to drive a truck and I was like, oh, no, 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 not me. I'm learning how to drive a car. And they were like, no, no, you booked in America with that, like, guns. Like, you booked to drive a truck? And I was like, no. Anyway, so I've got to wait until April. But, yeah, eventually I'll be able to drive. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds eventful. That sounds very eventful. Yeah, I don't like driving. I think it's so unnecessary. And, you know, it's like, why drive when I can, like, be on my phone or I can, you know... So who be watching you? the news. I could be doing my makeup. I could be eating. I could be sleeping. So, so you know, I could be telling you? jokes. Who's driving you? Oh, I Uber everywhere. Oh yeah, it's great. I love Ubering. And you're Uber, in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Do you watch I live Housewives? Downtown. Oh, do you watch Housewives of Atlanta? I, I I'm not watching it this season because I really don't care. I don't. It's something weird going on this season that makes me unhappy. Do you watch Salt Lake? No, I want to watch it though. I want to watch it like very bad. I was very interested in like the stories when I heard it roll out. But you know, I will be once I started filming my own like situation. I just kind of shied away from watching reality TV because I'm like, I just like I feel like I can't watch it the same anymore. Like, so what are you, once so you? What are you filming? What are you filming? So, well, I can talk about it now. So the show is about this um very 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 popular. Um, trans woman here in America. Her name is T.S. Madison. And she's like a big social media um, icon. She's an icon in the LGBTQ community. Wow. Um, and so the synopsis is basically she started off as um, earlier in her life, she started off as a sex worker. And she basically made that into an empire. And then once she retired from that, she started like this whole social media career that's basically like landed her her own show. And now she wants to take it and go further like into Hollywood basically and it's about her life and then it's about her team members around her and I'm um her content creator on her team that's so have you guys started filming that's so exciting oh it's wrapped oh we, it, we wrapped it a couple of months months ago a couple of weeks ago so when's it coming out um March <gasps> congratulations I'll sing to you congratulations <laughs> celebrations <laughs> 
Thank you. I can't, Thank I can't you. sing. I can't sing. <laughs> you know, I really, my nerves are still like kind of hot up. I don't know if you guys are sensing this, you know, all of us, I'm still kind of like my nerves. Cause I didn't know, I didn't know they were going to announce it. It just kind of like happened. And I was like, Oh, okay. So when did know. they announce it? Last night. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh shit. Okay. So this is like really new. Oh, it'll be fine. It'll be a right. It'll be amazing. It'll be amazing mm -hmm. because it's, it has a beautiful point to it. You know, like these reality mm -hmm. shows don't tend to have like, has a beautiful message and point and, and, you know, somebody who has, I undoubtedly seen a hell of a lot. So there's a lot to learn. Um, mm -hmm. That's why, you know, I'd be, I'd, like, I'm 100% going to watch that. That's so interesting. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So I'm just dealing with all the nerves of, you know, all of that stuff right now. But for the most part, everything is good. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited to watch. Um, Sydney, Sid, Sydney, yes. Sydney SS99 wants to know, what is your favorite photo shoot? In my life or top model? On top model. And then you can tell us oh. in your life too. In top model. What was my favorite? Oh my God. They were all so terrifying. Um, <laughs> that was like, I like the I maple. Would... I like the maple photo shoot of you guys. I hated that. Um, what did I? I'll tell you what the problem was. Is I loved hair and makeup because I spoke to the hair and makeup people. You were, I, okay. I, I, I'm actually not. I don't. Hmm, how do I put this without sounding ungrateful? Um. I, I really liked modeling. At, the, at my age uh, of being in my early 20s, I, had, I really didn't have the confidence. Like, I really didn't understand why I was there. I didn't understand who the hell I was. I didn't understand what I, you know what I mean? It's just like all this stuff. So I would definitely say I never thought I was enough. So on that show, instead of enjoying it all or being like maybe say Kyle, who was like, I really want this. Or like, you know, Ebony or like these girls that knew that they were like, this is, so they'd be like this is my angle I want to be a model this is amazing whereas I was like holy shit I think I can do this but I think low everyone's loads better and like I'm not really you know what I mean and like oh god I, I so so I was I was a lot more retreating so when I did these photo shoots I hated them because I was so scared I was terrified um I was terrified of the camera being on me I was terrified of like I said I loved watching behind the scenes I loved sitting in hair and makeup um, I, I just, I hated judging. Oh my God. So I think, um, yeah. So, but anyway, blah, blah, blah. You know, my favorite one was actually one in Britain's Next Top Model. That's kind of a different scene. We went to Iceland and we had this morning shoot where we did it over this beautiful Icelandic bag. But probably, the, you know what? Probably like the cover girl one, just because we were there and we'd done it and, and, and there was no pressure and I loved Laura and I truly, if she won, it was truly going to be amazing. Like, you know what I mean? It was like everything lifted and it was like with one girl who would, be the only girl that like understands that feeling so, so probably yeah probably cover girl wait what other photo shoots do we have oh god the, ta the height one i hated the maple syrup syrup one was so sticky yeah the alicia Kardashian said it was everywhere she right. said it found it she said the syrup found itself in her nether regions i bet it yeah i think it probably yeah because we were just like drenched in it oh my goodness you oh know my goodness I really did like the photo shoot of you guys in those dresses and hats in front of the donk trucks. I mean, the donk, the cars. Oh, that one was scary. I think I, yeah, I honestly, I think it's so tainted by me just being so insecure mm. that like, it, it's really hard to enjoy it. And also like, it's so weird because the, I've seen Nigel since he goes to a lot of things. I've seen him a lot of things in New York. And like at the time it's like, okay, this is how I'm going to put it to you guys. Imagine you're in school and there's a teacher and the teacher's really cool and very influential. And like, you all want to be the teacher's number one. So you're all like <laughs> running like this all the time. And maybe it's probably not as sincere as you are in the playground because, and that's what it felt like on set. So I was constantly like this because somebody was constantly you know, I don't know, talking to Nigel, or, like you we always had your guard up. So it, it was very hard. It was not the most relaxing experience, I would say. To model, pretty fucking stressful. Um, <laughs> but, like, but yeah, so, but I mean, how I wish, I wish I could do it now. And also they like drill it into you that like, you know, you got to win and blah, blah. I wish I could do it now. And like, now I just, I enjoy moments. I enjoy life. Like, this is amazing. Like I, you know, and, and like water off a duck's back, if, Thing, I don't know in like my life if something happens 
Jinx but, monsoon. But back then, like, no, I was just like terrified. Terrified. Ooh! Uh, Sandra Salazar wants to know. Um, are there Sandra Salazar? Sorry. Ooh, hey, Sophie. So before you got on, you know, did you cheers or toast to your birthday or anything? Like, have you consumed any libations? Like, have I consumed any libations? <laughs> what does this mean? What are you saying? <laughs> any beverages with, aqua with, oh, with alcoholic oh, content? Oh, with no? alcoholic. I don't drink. So, no. I stopped drinking during lockdown. So, I, I needed a, like, I don't know. I just stopped drinking. So, now I'm on these guys. Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. I thought, I think that like when I went into lockdown, I was like, nah, we're just, this is going to be like a lot of wine. And then, and then it just kind of, <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, this is a sad time. And if I start drinking, this is going to be a really sad time. So I was like, <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to just like stay away from all this and like, and just, I don't know, do, do other things like bath. Like what? <laughs> like have a bath. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Sophie, you are glorious. You are freaking glorious. <laughs> I feel like you don't so, understand so... anything I say. And maybe it's my, it might be my decibel. Do I need to come down a decibel? No, no. How you are is perfectly amazing. I'm enjoying, I'm really enjoying all of this. I, I just don't, it's, 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 it's funny to me. Like I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's so, it's so sweet and it's so innocent. And it's like, you really could curse me out right now. And I wouldn't get offended because fucking. <laughs> it sounds so nasty. I don't like saying it. Do it. No, try it. Try, try to curse me out. Wait, I was Blair Waldorf for Halloween. I should get my costume. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what should I say? Wait, stop um, in the comments. Give Just me a curse word. Okay, 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 okay. Just go for it. Wait, I don't know what to say. Okay, um, that was really fucking bitchy of you. <laughs> Wait, I got all sweaty. I need to get my powder. <laughs> oh, um, oh my that. god, you're gonna. If anybody's looking for a new bronzer, this one's really good. Not an ad. Who is it by? Tell us. Oh, it's the new Gucci range. It's beautiful. Look at that. Isn't it? It's like a work of art. It's quite expensive, but it's really nice. I think I'm gonna keep this container forever. You are glorious. That is my new word for things that I just love and I feel like I really shouldn't be indulging in, but I'm going to indulge. It's glorious. It's so glorious. Glorious. I love that. You should have, well, when you have your own show, it will be gloriously you. And we'll all celebrate being you. <laughs> and individual and fun. Right. Something you really shouldn't be indulging in, but you, <laughs> but you are. It's and at the glorious. premiere party, we'll all wear your glorious face. It's like a, you know, it's like a, Gloriously you. I love it. And I feel so bad for it. Sandra Salazar because we still have oh. our <laughs> <laughs> Sandra Salazar wants to know, are there any instances that Tyra would turn around when cameras had to stop rolling? Okay, now, I remember this from my chat with Alicia, and she vividly remembered that when like when when they weren't filming, guys, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe she said they had to turn around when they were not, when like you guys had to like turn around when when you guys weren't filming, like you can oh look at. Oh my god, her. we did! Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, we did. That was really odd. I don't know why we did that, but we did have to turn around. But you just did it like that. You like you know what I mean? You don't. It sounds really weird now, but you don't question. You're like, oh, Tyra's telling us to turn around. Okay. Yeah, we weren't allowed to like look at her. That was weird. You know what? One time I got food poisoning because we, you got like a budget, a per diem where you would buy your groceries and I bought some Thai food and, and everyone was bitching about it because everyone just bitches about everything. Like all, all of them, the, the, um, you heard in Mr. J's chat, like the production bitched about everything. Everyone's bitching, bitch, bitch, bitch. <laughs> just like, just so many bitches. To toxic environment. Yeah. And, um, and so I got ill and everyone was bitching that I was ill and I was like, I don't know what you want me to do. Like I ate that <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, I'm like throwing up everywhere. And then I, <laughs> and this guy, I remember him. I haven't seen him since, but this guy who was like, 
I mean, listen, people need have jobs on this show. It's not all like, so he, he was a production guy and he told everyone to like hurry up and stuff. And he was like, you got to get out. And I'm in the toilet and I'm like, blah, blah. and he's like in the ladies <laughs> toilet. And I'm like, I really can't. And he's like, we've got it. Cause they've got to keep to a schedule. You got to remember that like this costs some money if anything goes over. So at the end of the day, the show is like, sad to say but you know it's about oh sorry someone texted me oh it's nice my parents remembered it's my birthday <laughs> <laughs> so like um, mom and dad. yeah hello and James I'm there. oh bless um so I was like throwing up and trying to blah blah and and, and he was like you got to get on stage like they're doing this whatever it is you know art and final elimination I was like no seriously I'm like throwing up and eventually I got on um and I was like quiver I was like shaking and stuff and I think she didn't say anything until he turned the cameras on. And then she was like, if you need to take off your shoes, Sophie, like we hope you feel better. It was just, it's just weird. Like, it's just, you know, that, I mean, I don't know. I don't want to be mean. I'm sure she's like really nice, but it, it, but you didn't, they didn't want you all to have a relationship. They wanted you to treat those guys like God judges. And you know, it couldn't be all nice. Kelly was lovely. I, I went to Kelly's for Thanksgiving. One year. There were she many questions me for of, Thanksgiving. There were many questions about you hanging out with Kelly for Thanksgiving. Do you want to tell us about yeah, hanging out with Kelly for Thanksgiving? Oh my god, she was amazing. She's an amazing mother. She has these she had these two huskies. We were at her place upstate. It was beautiful. She's a mama bear. Kelly's a mama bear. And um and I, I guess you know it was like one of my first Thanksgivings. I oh my again, my memory. I'm really sorry. But I'm I, I sat next to somebody who was in I think it was Roddy Coltrane who was Anyway, he was in he was in the factory with Andy Warhol, which is like my and he was like you remind me of Edie Sedgwick, and that was a big thing for me because uh, I love the sixties. Um, but yeah, she was and and she's just very caring, very like are you okay? Like not she. I mean she's not bit. She plays a character. She's hardcore and like I'm sure if you work with her, she's PR. Like PR people are tough to work with. You know she's amazing at her job, but she wasn't. She's not unkind at all. She's lovely. Mm. Nigel I've seen at many things he's great real family guy Mr J the first time I properly like bonded was when he you know what I think it you know what I think it is look at me having all these revelations today I think it's because I'm so old now I so I I think what happened was is that social media broke down everything like say like Winnie Harlow came out and potentially got bigger than not bigger than Tyra, but you know what I mean like got really big and like and and like some of the contestants might have more followers than the judges and everybody everything shifted in social media on all all reality shows where like you know now um it's cool to go back they're doing a gossip girl reboot they're doing a sex in the city reboot Blake Lively posts about herself like it's cool to go back and everything's now on a streaming platform so like would Mr J have done live chats with us two years ago probably not you know what I mean but now it's like so I think all those barriers have just been broken down and social mm -hmm. has exploded and people love it. Like if Mr. J like comments under my photo, people love it. So all these walls have been broken and it's maybe it's more of an e even playing field. Does that make sense? Whereas when mm -hmm. I left, it was like, we didn't see them. You don't, you know, no, you don't talk to them. Like I remember like my agent I had at the time I was with Storm Models in London and like they, they didn't want me to even do it. And then, and then I got a publicist and nobody knew what to do with me after Top Model. I had an LA agent, I had a New York agent, I had a London agent, I had a publicist that I couldn't really afford. <laughs> it's very expensive having a publicist, people. Like, it makes a lot of sense how, like, the Hadids and stuff got so big. Like, if you can pay a publicist, they're going to put you out there, right? I think I had one for, like, mm -hmm. a month, and then I was like, whoa! <laughs> this is, like, <laughs> this is a lot invoice. of money. Like, yeah, uh -huh. like, it's ridiculous. Um, publicists make a lot of money. Is, yeah, and all they do is send you to events and blah, blah, blah. And, and, then, and then I kind of became a little less tainted by the whole world in a way but anyway so so no so no one knew what to do with me and I was so insecure and I didn't know who the hell I was I didn't have a story to tell I didn't have a you know what I mean like right. I would go I would go to these castings and you've got hundreds of beautiful girls and hundreds of girls skinnier than you and hundreds of girls like whatever I started with Cara Delevingne you know like it, it's, it's a really interesting and like process of who makes it I think is a very mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting one um, but I remember, I think they really wanted me to be like, I did TV a lot in like America afterwards and presenting and they really wanted me to be like Alexa Chung and I was like, but I'm not cool. And I'm actually not that fashionable. Like I just like wear like black tights and little black, you know, dresses and whatever, but I'm not like forward fashion. I bought Ugg boots like a month ago. Like, <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Sophie, you are freaking, you are a hoot. Oh man, I just need this Coca Cola. Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay, someone else wants to know how was it like filming the intro for the show? What did we do? Oh, it's like cake, wasn't it? Oh man, I don't know. Um, I don't remember doing it. Do we do it at the beginning or the end? I'm the worst person to ask. I've got no idea. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> do you know why you were allowed to change your makeover but not Louise? Yes, I do. I know 100% why because I was signed to store models. And when you they talked about me, this, uh -huh. I talked about this. I'll say it really quickly. I was signed and I knew in modeling that if you change your hair, you change your whole book. And that takes years. And I was, I was like building up this book and stuff. Um, and so he went, of course, and I, the, everyone knew this, everybody knew this, the producers, it was the one thing I said, I was like, Hey guys, like, you can't change my hair. And then I got there and they're like, we're going to shave it all off and dye it brown. And I was like, of course you are, but you're not. And I like looked and it's the only time I really stood my ground. I looked dead in the camera and I was like, no, I was like, you can dye it pink if you want. And then a minute later they were like, red pink. <laughs> But, but Mr. J doesn't remember that. Um, but then it's so funny because years later I've done work in this, this, this show is huge in like the Philippines and I had a travel show out there and it was incredible. But every time I went back, they're like, Miss Sophie, like, where's your pink hair? And I'm like, dude, I don't know what to tell you. Like it goes orange real quick, like real. Yeah, quick. bad, and not bad. Like, and they did it in Hong Kong and it all fell out. And like, I, I don't know, maybe I should do it. Also, it's quite difficult to match your clothes with pink hair. I don't know if you've no, ever tried. You can, just, you, you, can, you can wear whatever when you have pink hair. No, because when you don't have makeup on, I look like a ra I look like the person who didn't leave the party. Like, oh, I look like God. a raver that's like, you know what I mean? I'm so pale. I look like a small Victorian, mm. like, small Victorian boy when I have no makeup on. So add pink hair to that. It's like a very strange, like... Annalise says, she's down here in the comments, she said she thinks you guys filmed the intro after uh, makeovers. Oh, did she? Mm hmm My battery's going. Um... Selfie doesn't remember. I can't okay. remember. I'm so sorry. Harry CT wants to know, um, did you get all of your prizes from the Go See Challenge in Hong Kong? Did I get all my prizes? Yeah, what were the prizes for that? Can anyone remember? I'm drawing a blank right now. I'm so sorry. I'm drawing no small Victorian boy Joe's thing. Yes, yeah, so that's me. Um, I I so I was meant to, I remember that I was meant to get three mm -hmm. when I won they made sure I did that goddamn single and I don't know whether they were just trying to make this top model thing become like uh did it come out yeah my nieces and nephews have it <laughs> and like oh my god this will kill you so I got a check in the post for my, <laughs> for my like for my royalties and I got this check and it was like a dollar 29 <laughs> I was like how oh, cool Annalise is saying the nude is rude campaign Oh, I did do that. I did. I went and did that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I went out. I flew out to Hong Kong and I shot that. It was a lookbook. Actually, it was free labor. Like, really, I should have been paid to do that. It was like 300 outfits and, you know, e-commerce. So um, I did that, Ooh. yeah. Well, don't forget, like, a lot of these things is, like, their friends or people they get on. Like, it's it's not as... Yeah, I don't know. I But... I, I, out of my prizes, I, the one that I really wanted to do that I didn't get was the extra TV. I was meant to do three segments and they gave me one. Well, maybe there's two still out there somewhere and, and you know, hey guys, can we give them to Sophie? It's 2021. It's okay. It's all right. But um, yeah, I think that's the only one I didn't get. I got, I got, uh, well, what else? I just, I just loved that the one they really pushed was this like singing one, which <laughs> So annoying. <laughs> they were like, they were so adamant this guy was going to fly in from LA and I was going to mm -hmm. sing with him. And I did, but it was like, out of all the prizes, I don't even know if that perfume ever like was really out. Hey, yeah, did, did, has anyone ever sprayed the perfume? If you spray it, tell us what it smells like. Yeah, I didn't, I don't think I even got one. I'll tell you what though, my, my picture, uh, this is really late. I'm not going to, it's like a really narcissistic. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and do it. Be glorious, Sophie. Go get it. Go get it. Glorious. Uh, no, basically, I was in a photography shop because we can go into, like, um, things out here. And I'm looking at stuff for this documentary and learning about whatever. Anyway, so I'm in this photography shop and, uh, and there's a book. And uh, my friend's like, oh, look at this book. And we open it. And one of my pictures from the 
the shoot I did for Italian Vogue made this photographer's table book. So I bought one. Mm -hmm. But it's funny because you, you're not told, you know, you don't know. So it's randomly you're like, I had somebody message me the other day and they were like, I've officially saved 3000 photos of you. And I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> that's a lot of photos. I, mean, I think my mom has four of me. <laughs> oh, right, right. Um, oh, my girl, friend. Hey, John Carlo. Hey, John. Twin Girl 51 wants to know what really happened in the Teddy Bear situation with Kyle and Laura. A bunch of questions about that. Oh, right. Yeah, that one. Um, <laughs> what really happened in the Teddy Bear conversation? Um, I think somebody ripped it, right? Why were we all squabbling over a Teddy Bear? This is very hard to answer these questions because looking back to nine years ago, I'm like, why the hell were we playing with this poor girl's teddy bear anyway. Um, I, don't, I just don't think Laura liked Kyle. I just, I, don't think, I just don't think Laura and Kyle got on at all. So I don't know if it was really bad. bad. Oh, then no, oh God, I remember. And no one knew that that poor bear had symbolism to her friend that passed away. And mm -hmm. I, I think I had I knew, I in. knew, I, I knew you were going to get it eventually. Yeah, shit. That was sad. That was really, really bad. Um, but um, I, yeah, I think it all... It's just like, okay, here's my other analogy. Imagine a bunch of kids at a slumber party who do loads of sugar. Like, that's what living in that mm. house is like. But apart from you've got lots of wine involved as well. I think yeah, people were probably drunk, so. <laughs> <laughs> Grace Tardis. I wonder, time. I wonder, babe, you started the bear situation. Well, Annalise seems to think I started it. Oh, yeah. Annalise, tell us. Spill it. Yeah, Annalise is way more. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm literally the worst person. It's honestly, it's not me being difficult. I just have such a bad memory. Somewhere I kept a diary and my mom's trying to find it um, so that I, I can remember more, um, basically. But, but, um, but yeah, apparently it, I want to see what Annalise says. Whoops a daisy. I'm, wait, I'm waiting for Annalise to type and hit enter. I know, I'm so sorry. It was always you. Oh, shit, sorry. <sighs> <laughs> I don't know what I did. Maybe, a while, I don't know why we were playing with this teddy bear. I don't know where the teddy bear came from, but I remember that Kyle got blamed. And I seem to remember that I was there and I remember there was something floating away in a pool. Alicia said Sophie started everything. I really need to rewatch this season again. <laughs> <laughs> right, if, I asked, okay. if I asked you what you were doing eight, nine years ago, <laughs> Annalise is spilling it. So true. <laughs> Sorry. I think, said, the bed from, I think you stole the bed from... I think you stole the bed from... Laura's bed, and we all... We're we passing were all it around. It. Mm -hmm. Why on earth did I steal the poor girl's bed? I'm telling you, you do some weird stuff when you're on TV. <laughs> like, don't... If anyone out Trust there is going to go on reality TV, at least now maybe you're a little bit more like, you know, just breathe. If you think you can do something oh, stupid, breathe. just breathe. <laughs> breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay, I got another question for you. Grace Tardif wants to know, ask her about how the last couple of episodes went. It seemed very unorganized and a lot of um, and a lot of things with the final two. Was this because Alicia went home early and Tyra wouldn't allow Ebony to stay? So they had extra time. They shared more into the perfume. They showed more of the perfume shoot and the extra, and the extra spa photo shoot. It seemed like it was a lot of fillers. Yeah, it did seem like that. It did. I think that probably was it. There was meant to be another person. Um, so they had to kind of... So I think that me and Elise and... Oh, am I back? Am I gone? Am I here? I'm here. Can you hear me? Do you see me? No, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I, I think that... No, don't be sorry. I think that me, Annalise, and... Um, uh, me, Annalise, and um, Laura weren't we i think we all got on so i don't think we probably gave that much as b-roll we didn't give them the fights they had to fill it with working um which they probably normally could be a bit more catty but we weren't and we weren't going to play that game and i mean i don't know how annalise felt i was exhausted um by that point um and and i was quite i genuinely mean this from my bottom of the heart like as much as i wanted it would have been happy at that point for either of those girls um, the, and, and I, I do remember this, and I will say this, is that the girls, when they get eliminated, are still coming around with you. And at that time, Alicia and Ebony were like this, like super close. So they were both boot, like not on the show, but they would be 
like if we film, I remember when we filmed the ghosties, we had to go on this boat with Kelly and like they were there. And I think it was so that people didn't know who won or like, you know, who was right. gonna win. So they kept everyone around. But that was really scary because they were like, they were they were like really happy to like be out and like really, and, and I would use the word cocky only in that time. Mm -hmm. And maybe that was like, because they were sad. I, I don't know why we were young, but, but I do remember being like really scared because I was like, well, maybe they should be here. And I don't know, it, it was just, it was all such, it really is like one big giant mind game. I think, and, and I, I just remember them sat on the boat and, and we, and I don't know, it was, it was all a very strange, um, strange, strange time. time. I lost light. You have a light, come on. <laughs> I lost <laughs> I lost light trying to plug up, trying to, so I was really trying to like listen to you and be slick and like plug up my phone at the same time, but. Oh, and these days says so cocky. Yeah, I will vouch for that. They, they were very cocky about being booted off. And we and it and, and like you imagine you're still in it and these girls are like whatever like we were told we was gonna be here like we we were told we were gonna whatever they were saying and we were like oh my god we're still here like what the fuck <laughs> like nice. oh now I feel really sad <laughs> like did you like your song actually I love my song sorry I'll just I'll answer the question is it is is it still available to stream yeah it goes like this I'm aiming for you I really liked my song until Tyra got back and was like you need to add in smile so if you listen to my song right at the end it goes. It, 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 right at the end, it adds in all these top model words. So I'm randomly like, smile, hot lead them. Like, <laughs> <laughs> how can I, what is, what is the name of the song? Uh, what's the name of the song? Aiming for you, aiming for you. Is it Sophie Sumner? Yes, it is, Sophie Sumner. Yeah, Alicia came with I Could Have Won This Energy. I, I can't wait to watch Annalisa's chat. She remembers way more than I do. I'm um, Amy, for all you. Oh, Edward, my really good friend Edward's on here, and I forgot to say hi during days, and he's a really big fan of top model. So, Ed, I love you. Hey, how are you? Welcome. Okay, so Matthias wants to know: Can you tell us the differences between Britain's Next Top Model and America's Next Top Model? Yes, hundred percent. That I can do. Um, <laughs> finally, I've got a question. Um, so, Britain's was very. Um, Britain's was very lax. We had dinner with the um, with the producers. We ate with the cameramen. I was asking them questions. Like it was a very small budget. Um, you know, like it, it was all pretty like chill. It was still really scary. America's was like you got off. You were in a hotel for five days. You didn't speak to anyone. You were doing the same exams the military did um, to get it. You had these psych evaluations you um you know when they got our dance studio they got down this whole dance studio in LA like it was very you weren't allowed to talk to production um you know you you did eat meals with the crew you it, it was very very controlled if you imagine an experiment Britain's was a bit like okay and this one was like this is our we are keeping you in this bubble you are not going to see anyone or speak to anyone or do anything um we you know you are this is what your life now so I just remember it was it was a lot more money it was a lot bigger budget um, the sets were bigger, you know, the things we did were huge. Uh, the people on it were huge, like having Kardashians or um, uh, Beverly, the top model and, and stuff like that. We, and, and we were in LA, like, you know, for me, I'm from, I was from Oxford. I mean, you know, I, I was so, I'm sorry, you were in Hollywood and you were like, what? Like, and, um, and, and it was, and the crew was very like Hollywood as well, if that makes sense. So like, mm -hmm. You know, I don't know. I had no idea from Mr. J how much politics went on with the producers and the execs. I honestly still think that should be the TV show with the behind the scenes. I think me and Annalise used to joke about it. Like, they should have, the TV show should have been how the producers were acting. Like, when we were doing it. Yes. That. That'd be so much more interesting. Um, but, but yeah, so it's a very, 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 very different. Very different. I, how I was it? How was it for you almost winning Britain's Next Top Model and then coming over here and doing Top Model and actually winning? Ooh, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> so when, when I, this is ridiculous. I can't believe I'm saying this. So, you know, we done Top Model. I done Britain's. And, like, and that, was, that was big. Like, no one, I don't know, really. Like, it was been, like, a really big thing to do and be on TV. And, and I was meant to be going to university and I didn't go to college for you guys. Um, and then I remember when America and I'd got an agency and that was quite hard to do. Like a few of the other girls didn't get an agency. Like I remember I, I got actually through, to be honest, a friend helped me get the agency 
like store models. And so like, I don't know, I was feeling good. And then, and then they, they wrong um, America's and I was like, oh, amazing. They're going to ask me to be a judge. <laughs> no. I was like, they're going to ask me to be a judge. Oh, of course I'll do it. And they're like, be a contestant. And I was like, I don't know. I, I honestly, I just, my sister lived in America for five years, six, eight years. And I loved America. I loved the OC. I loved all these American shows. Um, I'd been to New York. I fell in love with New York. I'd been around, you know, I just thought it was the most magical place. So I always wanted to live in America. So for me, I was like, amazing. Like maybe this could help me like live in America. Um, but I remember, but I was wary about the show because you don't know how the hell you're going to get perceived mm -hmm. and you don't know. So, so I, was, I was really nervous. Um, and I, and I saw Annalise. Annalise was one of the first people we got off the plane and they said, I, and I saw her and I was like, oh my God, Annalise, like, thank God. Um, and, and then there was Ashley. Oh, it's really lovely. But, but it was also weird because the American girls were like, you've done this before. Like, mm -hmm. and we were like, yeah, we've done this before. It completely like, it was so scary. Like now we know what's going to happen. It's almost worse. You guys can just enjoy it. We're like, oh my God. So yeah, she like toot now. That's so funny. I can't believe you know, it. it seems like, you know, watching your live chat and then um, talk, talking to, um, ooh, I was about to give something away. Um, talking to Alicia. <laughs> ah, ooh, I almost had a Freudian slip. What was um, it? Tell to me. Alicia. No, I can't. Not right now. Okay. It's only because we have friends watching us. That's all. Okay. Okay. Mm hmm. No, I'll okay. tell you though. But it seems like. The Britain's Next Top Model was more like family, friends, nice. Like we're all doing this together. And America's Next Top Model was more like business machine. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a really good way of putting it. That's a good way of putting it. And I don't Which doubt sucks. Yeah, That's... I don't doubt them. Like I just spoke to somebody. Um, so I don't, do you watch The Bachelor? No. Okay, so The Bachelor people out there, there's like a big show here. Huge, huge, huge. Like the biggest reality show on American television. Mm -hmm. and and I spoke to somebody and she got or I heard this story that like somebody got out of the car and did an Australian accent and then everyone was like why did she do that it's because the producers told it so it's interesting that reality tv it's like also they didn't tell us to do things but they fandangle things out of you so when you do your like one-on-ones your we call them vox pops um like your talking heads mm -hmm. it's like imagine if I was like oh my God, Oliver, like Annalise and Alicia have been talking about you. Like, what do you say? And then you say something like they've got everything. Mm -hmm. So it's also quite, I can't remember if you asked that question. Did I just change the question? I'm so no, sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> I just like, okay. completely ignored you. That's so rude no, of me. You're, no, you're, like, no, you're totally fine. I don't even remember what the question was because the answer was great. But I do have another question for you. <laughs> Um, a lot of questions about this. It has shit to do with Top Model. Are you still friends with Emma Watson? <sighs> um, good friend from school, yeah. Yes, you said th that's a yes. We went to school together. Okay, so, so like, it's like, yeah, like yeah, yeah. a very good long term school friend, but I'm not gonna, gotcha, gotcha. I'm, not, okay. I'm not going. You heard it, guys? Did you hear it? It was so many no. questions about Emma Watson. So really? Many there were so Emma. many people. Yes. Oh, it's not, and the only lot. reason I say that is because is, is it's on the internet. But the mm -hmm. most amazing, the most amazing woman. The most amazing woman. American Shade with Brittany King wants to know, what was your relationship with Tyra after you won? Did she mentor you or cut off communication? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, she, we didn't talk. I saw her in Singapore once. And she was like, hi. I knew, I, yeah, it was weird. I actually knew her stepdaughter at the time. She was dating a guy and I knew the stepdaughter. And I thought maybe, I was like, maybe because I like know her stepdaughter, I don't know. But no, she, uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, didn't talk to her. I'm, Are you, but, did you just freeze? Did we both just freeze? <laughs> I don't know, did we? Am I back? No, 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 no. I think you were just contemplating and being a good, a good interviewer. So you were like thinking and I was like... <laughs> You know, you don't, you know, it's only because, you know, doing this, I'm taking on a responsibility, whether I like it or not, just to make sure I'm not too biased. And, you oh. know, a lot of times I'm fighting against, like, my inner reaction. Oh and it's like, God, you know, maybe tell my, me. 
tell me what's your reaction i'm so i'd rather a two-way conversation than just well i mean so i have like two ways i look at the whole tyra thing and when she when, when i hear you girls say um interactions with her after the show you know were like very like <clears throat> or like you know it was very like fleeting and my first reaction is you know it sucks because it's like you know i was on your show we've worked together technically you know i've won to america and everyone who watches to me it's, it's always seemed like tyra was like this big mama bear to some of you guys and she you know she could have been and probably was to a lot of girls um but then when i hear stories like what you just shared i also look at it in another way where tyra could have just looked at this whole thing like it was a job and she got a call sheet like everyone else did and she was just showing up to work and she was you know playing the part or playing the role i don't know but i don't know maybe that's how i just choose to rationalize it on how you know she could be looking at it like you know it was just a job to her maybe i don't know I don't yeah, know. That's I, why. That's why I kind of pause. I'm like, I don't, you know, I don't know, because I don't want to put anything on, on her character, because I've never met her, and a lot of people like tear me up about that. But that's important to me. Like, I've never met these people. I don't know her. I've never been in her space. I've, ne I've never had personal experiences with her. I've only gotten, you know, top model content interviews, whatever, whatever. So I don't think it's fair for me to say she's this way or get mad or like whatever, whatever, because I've never met the lady, and you know that's not right to me. If to me a hundred percent you know what i think i think she started this show with wanting to help and wanting to push people's careers and i think it got bigger than maybe they expected i mm -hmm. think um i think she really did care at the at the beginning not sanctioned at the end but i think she really cared at the beginning and i think she really at the beginning wanted them to be successful models um maybe i i don't know i have no idea like maybe at the beginning you know those kind of cycles then I think the the politics behind television, which is that you've got to get the ratings and you've got to sell rating spaces. You've got to sell the, you know, the adverts and the avenue to keep your show on CW. I think they took over and I think it just became a business. And I think, and I think when she got to our season, this is a personal, I have no idea what this woman thinks. This is just why I personally have assumed from the, uh, you know, what happened. I think by the time she got to us, honestly, I think she probably wanted a family. I think she wanted to settle down um, because I don't think she had as much interaction in our show as she did in the previous ones. Um, I think she probably, you know, she'd been doing it for so long. Um, so I think we, you actually did watch Tyra's life play out over 13 years. And like anybody, you have different times in your life. Like, you know, top model was her baby. And then maybe she wanted a family or whatever it was. And then and then she had to give more over to the network and the network needed X, Y, Z. And then the network needed it to be more current. So they brought in social media and that was just very strange. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, but then, and then it was like, it was like as, as was amazing. As probably should have won like a hundred percent, but it was like, she wasn't, television in America and CW wasn't ready for as Marie and wasn't mm -hmm. ready for all these amazing, unique um, characters that I think audiences were ready for. And I think, it, I think we probably got lost Top Model behind without catching up to these things. You know what I mean? And by the times changing and it just being slightly derogatory in many ways. Um, you know, some of the photo shoots were a little uncalled for. And, and, that, and, the, and I think they only did that to, for ratings. I think it all boils down to ratings. Just ratings, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's where the, that's where it's, a, she's a big, Tyra Banks is a businesswoman. She went to Harvard and studied business. She, she calls herself a businesswoman. You know, like the the show's yeah. amazing, and I think it started as her baby, and then and then, yeah. So so I think we became. I think it's very interesting in casting. If listen, if any of you out there wanted to do a reality show, I could a hundred percent give me a ring. I could get you in. All you need to do is pick a character. You would go to your audition, and you just said, I mean, I think for Top Model, I was like, I'm from a private school, and not let like, you just play a character, and they put you in a box. Maybe it's changed now, but like that's how it was. We had like, you know, I was like, oh, what's, I was like the comeback kid, and Annalise was the television presenter, and you know what, um, uh, Mariah they called the Native American, which seemed a very strange way to like, you know, Candace, um, what whatever they yes, had yes. was like they 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 box you, uh, TV, and and I don't think and yeah. But I mean, nobody, listen, if it was R1, it had completely lost being a modeling contest. I mean, be serious. Oh, definitely. Ours was all for like pop culture.
a fun. They had the earlier ones. I think they really gave a shit, and they were going to Italy, and it was amazing. And oh, sorry, my boyfriend's gone to get my birthday present. Last, he's coming home. Well, no, he just left. I think he might have lost his keys. Um, anyway, <laughs> and like so, the earlier ones, I think they really wanted it to be modeling and stuff. But I do think that that then it just became like a pop culture. I was watching after I watched mine before Jay's chat, and then I went and watched the next one. And I had to actually stop watching it because it just felt, it was so different. It felt like season 18 was the last of the nostalgic growing up top model. And then, like, you, you know what so? I mean? Yeah, well, maybe, maybe we were probably a little bit later, but we still had Nigel, like, you know, we gotcha, were the last of, gotcha. like, yeah. and then 19, it all got super new and suddenly we had a Rob on there. And like I'm pretty, I shouldn't say that. And voting and in in, in in social media things. Yeah, I think Tyra had a crush on Rob. That's how he got the job. I'm not touching that. But I am going to ask you this question. <laughs> Why do uh, you know? Um, did you watch Alicia's interview? What What were your thoughts about Alicia's interview? Um. Yeah, oh, I skimmed through it a little bit. Oh, it was good. It was good. She knew, like, she remembers what was happening. Somebody just said, spill the tea, not marketing. I'm really sorry. I think, I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm being bad. mischievous. <laughs> oh, what did I think? Um, I mean, yeah, she told the truth. She remembers it all. It's really sad. I didn't realize she was so, I didn't realize it affected her so much. Yeah, and she, I, I, uh, I was so shocked. So a lot of people wanted to ask you, you being there, what was your take? Um, I don't know if you've gotten to that part in me and Alicia's interview where she like details what was going on with her that day, what the conversations, the pullouts. Um, and then like when she finally broke down, how like Tyra just like walked past her and didn't say anything. What was your, what is, what is your recollection of what happened that day? Um, my re I just gotta get my charger. Hang on. Uh, no, you're okay. Charger <laughs> I just realized that I might have to um, get my charger. Um, well, 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 okay. Well, here's the thing, guys. Okay, I've heard tea about Tyra Banks and Rob Evans, but it's like I'm not gonna tell you guys what I've heard because why? that will only because that would be messy and because I don't know. Like I don't know Tyra. I don't know Rob. I wasn't there. I wasn't the cell phone or the iMessaging messaging thread. So I don't feel right telling a story that's just hearsay to me. You know, of course, no, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say that because y'all gonna. Mm -mm. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get into heaven to 2021. Listen, the Lord is doing great things in my life. I'm on TV. You know, I'm losing weight. I didn't. I'm still here. I'm not trying to. I mean, but I am on live doing a top. I'm about chat, to get so, very so. close to you because I can't charge my phone. <laughs> no, you're totally fine. I'm about to. My face is about to be in all your. Okay. Um. What did I? What did I think about? You know what? I think that's actually really sad. I think that girl was really, 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 really broken. But I don't. I think that Tyra was maybe mad at her for leaving. Oh my gosh, you're about to Do you her. think they were trying to set her up to be the winner? Well, I heard her say, oh my God, is this a good angle? Just kidding. <laughs> oh. Sophie, you are so much fun. <laughs> Sophie, when you bring your ass to Atlanta or I may come to New York, well, I'm not coming to New yeah, York. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to road trip to you. I'm, I'm going, I will road trip to you. I will road trip to you. It's going to be the end of January. It's happening. I think my friend who's doing it with me, and, I'll come, and then I'll pick you up and you can, we can road trip and find some top model people in um, Georgia. No, we can, but um. No, we can. What was that weird double barrel? <laughs> no, no, I said, I said, no, we can, we can. Oh yeah, yes, we can. Isn't that right? Yeah, we, yes, can. we can. I'll, I'll take you around Atlanta, and I'll show you some of the things here. Um. I keep spitting. I'm really sorry. I don't know why. It's my birthday spit. I can, I've I never spat before. Some, <laughs> I can get you some nice Atlanta fried chicken. Yes. Oh, I don't do eat meat. I'm so boring. Do you, do you eat seafood? Yes. Oh, like, that's perfect. I like prawns. Put them on my fingers and have a little prawn show. So listen, I went to the Dominican for a job. Back wow. In, back in 2019. Yeah, it's before the pandemic. And I was staying at this fabulous resort. And on the menu, it was 24-hour catering. And I saw steak and prawns. And so... You know, I'm a black boy from the South, so I'm like, what the fuck is a prawn? So the only- Wait, 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 you didn't know what a prawn was. I didn't know what a prawn was. 
And so the only, oh, that's wrong, the only thing that came to my brain, and I don't know if I'm saying it right, one of my favorite movies of all time is District 9. And I believe they call the aliens in the thing prawns. So I was like, I don't want, like, are they going to bring me sea bugs? Like, what? what's I going on? I thought prawns were a southern thing. What? Well, Yes, it is. So come to find out, I just ordered it because my Wi-Fi was messing up, so I couldn't Google it. Like, I couldn't do anything. So I was like, okay, let me just order it. It's unlimited. And it, it came and it was shrimp. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Prawns and shrimp are pretty similar, right? Wait, now you got yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Yeah, yeah, they're very similar. <laughs> right. Wait, hold on. Let me double check. So confused by this. People loved it. I'm really sorry. I hope people know. So for me on my screen, your comments are here. I just want you to know, no, that's a shrimpy prawn. What is that? Prawn shrimp. Prawns, yeah, the shrimp. I was like, oh, the shrimp. So I was like, now when I go out, I'm going to say I want steak with garlic prawns. You're <laughs> so cute. I just want to have you like a Polly Pocket. Do you remember Polly Pockets? Or are you too <laughs> yeah. young for Polly you Pocket? <laughs> By the way, big news. So when I was growing up, I collect, sorry, changing subject in my awkward pose. This is my, <laughs> Find this is my I mean, top model challenge, trying to figure out how mm -hmm. to like charge mm -hmm. my phone. Uh, so, <laughs> 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 Prawns are just big freaking shrimp. Yeah. And then so I'm looking down here because you guys are commenting. I just want to make sure people don't think that I'm constantly staring at myself. It's really fun reading all these comments. Uh, I've really enjoyed it. Did you guys have a problem in with the... No. Oh, there's no... Anyway, sorry. Girl, they still make Polly Pockets. That's great. So I collected Beanie Babies growing up, right? And I'm talking to my friend and I'm like, yeah, what's your brother doing at the moment? And the pandemic's effing tough and a lot of people lost their drug, uh, drugs, jobs. <laughs> people might have lost their <laughs> drugs as well. <laughs> glorious, hashtag glorious. <laughs> and so he was like, oh, my brother now trades, is a Beanie Baby trader. So apparently anyone out there who is, um, in, who collected Beanie Babies, that shit's now worth money. So I had to run my mom. I was like, go find the Beanie Babies. I have Beanie Babies back at home. But do you have Florida. the Princess Diana doll? Right. No, I don't, I don't think I got that fabulous. But I have some Beanie Babies. I, I remember Beanie Babies. Uh, I, think I, you, I think it's in my grandparents' tool shed. You really need Iggy Diguana. He's worth like 20 grand. <laughs> I don't know what you True. just said, but it sounded amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, listen. Sophie, I don't have any more questions for you. Listen, this is when I ask Amazing. people out there. The people who got badges, I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask your question live. And look, Instagram has fixed it. So when you guys get a badge, I see the little icon next to your name. Remember when we first did this and they fu fucked it up and had me like get nervous. Sophie, I get nervous very easy in public spaces because I don't want to mess up. And I'm like, oh. just imagine like it's almost for me I'm like sorry. reading a teleprompter. And like, yeah. there's a there's a paragraph, and then it just goes away. And like, I'm gonna do my best to hold it together, but in my brain, everything just melted. I'm well, like, let's take, let's all take. Okay, everyone out there, who have we got watching? Let's all take a minute, and then let's all close our eyes and take a deep breath in through our nose. This is what this is. I did this. Sorry, keep holding that while I talk. So I did this with a Buddhist monk who told me. Um, <clears throat> so you bring it in, you breathe in all the negativity. And then you breathe out sparkles for everyone around you. And you do that a few times. We don't need to, but you breathe in all the negativity and it does, puts you in a better mood. And it will also zen you and calm you down. But don't forget to send out the sparkles. Because sparkles. when because when you breathe in the negativity and it hits your heart chakra or something like this, on low, I think I'm <laughs> getting it right. Uh, it turns it into positive and you send out the sparkles. But nothing will ever dull this. Nothing will ever dull that heart of yours. Nothing. Oh. That is, thank, thank you for that. I'm going to put that in my pocketbook. You're and welcome. I'm going to breathe in negativity. And I'm going to release sparkles. Well, can I replace sparkles with lightning bolts? It's a bit vicious. Well, I don't know. I just like <laughs> lightning bolts. <laughs> okay. I mean, who am I to say no? I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, I learned this from a Buddhist monk. I'm sure it's fine. Uh, okay, here we go. Vanity underscore plates underscore 83 wants to know, was your photo with Tyra real or were you photoshopped in? We're speaking real. About the real. But the, the way that they edit some of these, it's like we don't even have features. I look so airbrushed in that photo. I didn't even recognize me. Yikes. 
It's bizarre. So we talk about doing it. Hi, Beautiful me. Brown Eyes wants to know, do you think production set up Laura to win the Kung Fu video to look like she was flirting to the top? I think I think what happens is, is that they film this stuff and then when they're watching it, I, well, okay, so you guys don't, I know I'm talking a lot about behind the like, scenes and it's not as fun, but like the, the producers all have notebooks. Um, so they are constantly logging, right? So the producers are going, Laura, tossed her hair now you can make a storyline out of that so then mm -hmm. so they so they it's not like that they're, they're manipulating they're more just observing but then they run with something so when we then go and do our little vox pops they've got their notes and they'll be like sophie laura was flirting and i'll go oh my god laura's such a flirt and then they've got me on camera and then they've got that so i but yeah she was really wait hang on a second but she's yeah she thought he was really hot he was really hot he is really hot so uh sarah bell wants to know sophie i heard you kept washing the pink out of your hair on the show because you hated it is this true <laughs> that's so aggressive i love the color pink no i would never have done that no it kept washing out of my hair and uh, mm. and, the only, and the only reason i couldn't get it back in is because they they put it back in in hong kong and they burnt all my hair off here um mm. so yeah that's edward that. underscore archibald underscore spats underscore banana that's not over Hi, Sophie. It's Eddie. Just wishing you the best day ever. You're the best. Happy birthday. I love him. Thanks. Oh. Thanks, guys. Oh, my God. I'm going to be so exhausted after this. I'll need a nap on my birthday. Nap. Oh, no. I'm about to get you off. Okay. No, I love it. I love it. It's so fun to talk. I haven't spoken to anyone all day. <laughs> oh, dang it. Cancer 21 says, hey, Oliver, can you ask her which other season and photo shoot would she have participated in? Which other season's photo shoot would I participate in? Mm-hmm. I can't, you know, I can't think of any apart from when Ali Harvard, Ali's a buddy of mine, when she did the Greek salad one. <laughs> I love that photo shoot. It was so awful. I um, thought the pictures were amazing. Am, am, am I like the only one of 10 people who thinks those photos are amazing? Dude, I mean, like, the thing is, right, is in okay, fashion, maybe. in fashion, I really think that you can do anything. So you can be like, here we go, here's Gigi Hadid in the bo salad bowl and make it really cool. But like, they don't really do that in Top Model. It's like the photos come out and it was like a stark salad bowl. I don't know, that one just really, I didn't want to do that photo shoot, but it did make me laugh. I don't know, maybe like one of the earlier seasons where they did cool stuff in like Milan, like a real kind of photo shoot mm. um, was probably cool. Actually, you know what? I'm, I would love to, I watch a lot of Gossip Girl in case if you follow me, you know I watch a lot of Gossip Girl. Um, I like to have things on in the background while I'm working or like, you know, and I think I might go and watch the beginning top models because I don't think I've seen all of them. Because we didn't, it wasn't as big in England. It wasn't, you, gotcha. couldn't, you couldn't get it. Oh my God, it, my friend's here. Hey, Tom. What is the grossest thing you ever had to eat for the American food challenge? Didn't we eat a pig's foot or something? I believe, I believe you girls did. I think I ate a pig's foot. That's very popular really... in the South. We ate shrimp and grits, which was delicious. I was really young. Very popular in the South, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't... Well, you're going to take me there. Can you eat in there? Can you eat outside? Oh, girl, listen. You're going to come here and be like, what world did I step in? As long as you have your mask, you can do anything. Oh, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Well, I'll... yeah. All right. Oh, my God. My old school teacher's here as well. Hi. Mr. Hi. Yes. What is your proudest accomplishment post top model? My proudest accomplishment post-top model. You know, this is going to sound really crazy. Um, I think what I'm... You know, I think now that sounds really awful. Uh, that sounds really lame. Um, I think now just getting through this pandemic, learning what's been really important, working on me and just knowing now what I want to do. So I spent a long time not really knowing what I wanted to do. People were like, you need to do more. You know what I mean? And like, I just, I never felt comfortable in the world. But I, that, listen, the fashion, the entertainment world's rough. Like it's, um, it's very sceny. It's very like, it, it's not quite as glam. And, and I've always felt a little lost. And I think this year, I really learned what I want to do, which is be around others, talk to others, um, help build up others if I can, and be a, and be positive in, in this. And I don't care if that does, if that doesn't mean that I'm on a network, it doesn't bother to me. I just want my community 
to feel good. Does that make sense? It sounds like a really sense. cool. It sounds like a really corny answer. Um, but yeah, I've got a lot. Yeah, I don't know. Really, sounds weird. So the fans down here are asking, could we finish the Alicia question? I don't want, she want to finish the Alicia question because she hates her. Parker, that's so intense. <laughs> I don't know. Ignore them. Ignore them. No, I um, I think we were just hard. talking about what happened that day during elimination and, and okay. what we saw. Oh, God. I wish you guys, my friends in the chat will tell you I was the shittest memory. Um, so what, okay. happened that, what happened that day? I mean, it's eight years ago, guys. Um, I think that, um, so she was really upset. It was all, we didn't know what the hell was going on. She started crying a lot. And, and, and I think we, we like didn't get on particularly in the show. It was just tough. It's just like, it had kind of segregated off at that point, I think. And emotions are just so high. And like, it's not, okay. It's not like I don't like this person. It's like in a crazy situation where you're running at a hundred, little things are going to piss you off. It's like locked down and living with someone the whole time. We lived with these people we'd never met before. Um, and like, and so all those little things become big things. Like she hated that I didn't clean up. And like, to be fair, I, I didn't really clean up. So like she had a good point. <laughs> um, and so, um, she, she got, she was really upset and she, um, she walked off. Now I know she was really upset, but like I said earlier, then th you have to remember they disappear, right? Then they go, you don't see them. So then it's just me, me, Laura and, and Annalise standing there. Like those guys are then gone. They've moved them out. That They've gone to be interviewed. So it's not like you have a moment. This all suddenly happened. But when I next saw her was when we were um, filming again and they were brought on as the kind of, you know, they were the Ebony and Alicia and all the past people stay on. They don't go home straight away. They stay on. And that's when I was saying earlier, which Annalise kind of backed up, is that they just seemed very cocky, like that they didn't need the show and that they, you know, didn't want to win. And, and we were still in the show. So it, it was a very weird dynamic because they would have to come everywhere with us. So it was odd. Um, I know someone's saying I, when she bumped into the producer and said, and the producer had said to her that she was poised to win. I don't know, man. I, 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 I 100% would say that the, that producer said that to her. Definitely, I don't. She's not lying about that. I it's it's all it's very LA, right? I got told that they'd had like they had. I don't think they know who's going to win. I don't. I honestly don't. But I think at that point they wanted to know who could further the brand. And I sat in all those Vox Pops and I was like, I want to move to America. So if they were going to have a Brit win, they needed somebody who was going to move. They didn't want someone with a boyfriend that wouldn't move. Like you know what I mean? They needed somebody that was going to work on this brand. And I think to them, I seemed like the one who most likely was going to push it. I don't think it was about modeling. I don't think, you know, at that point, I think it was like, who could kind of help the top model brand? Do you not think? That's why after me, Laura won and, and the, and, you know, the girls' um, parents are both actors. I'm not, I'm not saying, I just, do you not think a little bit? <laughs> Come oh, on, Sophie! <laughs> Come on, Sophie! I, I don't think I'm being an ass. The girls are all listen. You got these girls are all on there for a reason. You're they're making all, sense. Yeah, I, I, there. I've had years to like. There, everyone is beautiful. Everyone could do this. Look at like Winnie Harlow. She went why, up and Why made Keith a Carlos was an NFL player? What do you think? No, no, no. I'm going to get lost. I'm going to get lost. Keep going. Keep going. Like, Keep going. like, you know, so you've got a bunch of gorgeous women who effectively could all make it, especially now, whether you are plus size, whether you are uh, trans, whatever. Everyone has, especially now with camera, but like everyone on that show could be a model. That's why they're there, right? So at that point, I think they just, I think they wanted someone to keep going with the brand to make it relevant. What, what, you know what I mean? Like, why why does the bachelor keep using young hot things on their show do you not think so that they're relevant to that next generation because the other people have all stuck with the bachelor and will continue to watch it so i i, I maybe i am sure this producer said it to her um i don't i maybe i think a few of us were poised to win you know i i i, I don't know i i i don't think i don't think there's ever a clear winner but i think as you go on in the filming they have these different strands and you know so I don't know. I, I, I don't know. But I, I think Mr. J spoke about this and I swear he said something to me. Didn't he? Didn't he say something about the behind the scenes in this? Sophie, <laughs> <laughs> I'm what, glad because I forget you everything. were there. You were there. And I'm like, why? why? <laughs> I Sophie.
Uh oh. Is it messed up? Tyra, we bind you. We bind you, Tyra. Will should have won cycle 21. And I, I, I apologize. I don't mean Can that you still hear me? Hello? Hello? Can you still hear me? I can hear you. Oh. Can you hear me? Yes. We have a running joke over here that when things start happening with our internet connection, it's Tyra. And we go into this, Tyra, we bind you from the craft. Tyra, we bind you. We bind Tyra, you. Tyra, we hard. bind you. Can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can hear me now. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Sophie, my last question for you is, if you were standing before Tyra Banks right now in 2021, what would you say? So, uh, what would I say? Um, I don't know. Give her a hug and be like, yo, glad it went well. How's the theme park? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> hasn't she got a theme park like, coming out? Um, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I'm sure I will see her maybe again. Who knows? Um, I don't know. I think I'm just very, listen, I think I'm just, I'm very at peace. I think I'm very at peace with me. I know me. I know like, and 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 I, I just you gotta laugh at things and and I don't I don't know I, you know what I mean someone does that make said, sense? Someone said you should ask her why did you make me um why did you make me sing aiming for you? <laughs> oh yeah, model learn there right. Um oh yes, what is it? Um, I'm aiming for the song. you. Come with me and we'll dance, baby. Take my hand, take a chance, baby. Life is better when we are together. I won't take no for And then it goes really high. It's like, and I want some attention. <laughs> it's literally what I like. And like my boyfriends are so bad. It's like, not boyfriends. I have one. I don't know why I put plural there. Um, I say No, like, tell us. Te no, that, now, now, now the true interview begins. Tell us about your multiple. <laughs> <laughs> my multiple boyfriends. <laughs> My boyfriend and my dog. Um, <laughs> but, it, but, but the lyrics are like, because I want some attention from you tonight. I want your affection to be all mine. I must have been going through like a weird time because I did write it with this guy. I really did write that song. And he was like, what do you want? And I was like, 60s pop music. And so we, and then we started writing that. I don't know. It was really fun. But yeah, I do just want to say, I do feel bad. Like I don't want to, I'm not saying that the other girls shouldn't have won. I'm just saying, I think some of these things were thought about. I think anyone could have bloody won that show. No, all the girls cycle. I mean, every, every cycle has just beautiful, 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 Yeah, beautiful, it's amazing, amazing, gorgeous Layla, girls. she did amazing. I think what happened as well is with social media, they realized that like, you didn't need to win. Like people follow people on all these shows you know, and, and find their favorites. And then you can follow them after on social media. So you don't necessarily, I think it became less about like, winning because i think where did winnie come she, the girl did amazingly winnie harlow or Lay layla mm -hmm. the girl, layla did like huge campaigns mm -hmm. the girl who came and actually to be fair um kelly i remember kelly because i went to jamaica on that cycle and was hanging out with production and um and someone keeps how was that? that oh my god everyone was just like drinking all the time and having like a huge party like yeah and and and, and it was just like let's see you win. like what was that um, drinking the bottles oh i thought that was like a willy move like <laughs> a what move <laughs> a think, what move i think i'm going crazy nothing what i thought, kind I, thought of move, I don't know i thought you were doing something with a willy w what's a willy a willy what's a willy you don't know what a willy is no is that a british word somebody in the comments someone's gonna what's die. a willy it's a willy. It's what men have and women don't have. A willy. Oh, I knew what it was. I just wanted to hear how you were going to describe it. <laughs> I was like, they don't teach willy in Georgia? That's so Ooh, weird. Oh, well, can I teach you a word? Yeah, of course. I taught this word to Sam yesterday. Um, And then I'm going to I'm gonna kick Everyone, you off because, because penis. you've been on here almost for two hours and you need to go celebrate your birthday. Oh, but I taught, Sam, I taught Sam this word yesterday on our live. And it's a term that's from the African American community, um, and it's a term that you describe something as just so repugnant in smell, um, and it's like, oh my god, like what is this? Like, you just can't believe it smells like this. And the term is called badissi. 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 Repeat after me, badissi. Badissi. 
And so the word comes from basically, we're basically saying it smells like booty, ass, dick, cock, and pussy all at the same time right now. That is, that is a smell. (laughs) That is a smell. (laughs) But oh, someone's got it. Badoosie, badoosie. I love reading these comments. Sophie, before you go, do do you mind using badoosie in a sentence for us? No, I don't even know if you're lying. Is that really what it means? Yes. But how do I use it in a sentence? Okay, so okay, so for example, for me, it's like, oh my god, I remember back in high school when I used to walk through the men's lock the boys. She knows that smell though. It smelled like but dusty. These comments, you guys, are so funny. Somebody was like, she knows that smell though. (laughs) (laughs) So yeah, so like like what like when I walked through when I was in high school and I walked through the boys' locker room, it smelled like but dusty. Listen, I agree with this person who's just it's who just said I didn't sign up for this. Half of them they didn't sign up for this. Well, you told me you taught me Willie and I had to teach you Badissi. Okay. This is a really fun word. Thank you so much for teaching me that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad that I now know it at this ripe new age. I shall frequently use it today in sentences. No, don't frequently use it. Only use it uh, like use it. I can't, well, if I like walk into Starbucks and I'm like, oh man, this is, smells like, I don't know, I'm not even going to go there. No, you, no, okay, no, 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 no. You know, I'm going to get in trouble. No, you know what? When you come to Atlanta, you can use it with me. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you, you sound cool. I just don't. Sound cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie, this was an amazing time. I'm so happy you carved out some time. Thank you so much. On your birthday. I've had the best day. I've got to say, I am genuinely, I know people are like, don't talk about like it, like marketing or saying like, um, you don't, you really do remember. I, I am the most, I am kind of what I am, if that makes sense. You're not going to get any different to me to when I turn off this camera. Um, I really have a shit memory. <laughs> like, it's really not me to be trying to be difficult. If I can find this goddamn diary, it might help. I'm very excited about Annalise's one because Annalise has the memory of an elephant and will remember all of this. Um, one day we should all do a Zoom and then she can remind me of this shit when we're all um, talking. But Let's I, set it up. Yeah, that'd be really fun. But I promise you, I'm really not trying to be difficult. And thank you for all the happy birthdays. I'm so happy you guys are the best. It's been the best way to spend a birthday. You are just a sparkle of joyous love. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'm so happy I was able to do this with you. I'm so excited. Like, just watching you, I'm just, You've been you've been so fulfilling right now. Just glorious. <laughs> glorious. I can't wait to meet you when you drive your ass down here and February. In fe- yeah, she said February. My birthday's in February, so maybe it'll be a, like a What a, day? A, what day? February tenth. Fantastic. You're a little love baby. No, you're not. Wait, your parents would have got freaky in the summer. You're a little summer baby. <laughs> mm-hmm. Summer loving. <laughs> you're a, a summer, summer loving baby. and had a little winter oven. <laughs> <laughs> I stayed in my winter oven two weeks late I was you know what happened this <laughs> this time all those years ago my dad made sandwiches and he made a um what's it called a play tape to play for my mum when she gave birth and he ate all the sandwiches and finished the tape within like 50 minutes and they still had another like 14 hours to go <laughs> and then and then when I was born my mum was like my parents are the most loving nicest people in the world they're amazing but when I was born my mum after a week was like she doesn't do much does she <laughs> Sophie, do you go live a lot on your on your page? I never go live ever. Sophie, you should start going live and just start telling me stories. <laughs> okay. These are very funny. I have amazing stories. They're just not about top model. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, everybody, we're gonna give Sophie a round of a freaking applause right now. We're sending her, we're taking all of the negativity in and we're sending her hugs, love, kisses, sparkles, Aww. lightning bolts, whatever the hell it is, as we bid her farewell and give her a big thank you for giving us an awesome cycle. 18 top model British invasion chat. Wow. Yeah. No, thank you. I appreciate it. I think you know more than I do. So that's that. <laughs> you were there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Shocking. Maybe I actually have a twin. It seems crazy that I was there. A doppelganger. 
think, yeah. Yeah, I could do. It's not me. I'm like a fake Sophie. Like Melania Trump. Did you see? <laughs> yeah, we're not going to go there. All right. That's enough. Right. Okay. Listen, you, you have a great so day much. today. Have a okay. great day. Have a great day. Have a great day today. I can't wait to come and meet you. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Well, that was so much fun. Oh, hey, what's going on? Listen, guys, this video will be posted on my YouTube channel later. That is Oliver Twix, T-W-I-X-T on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Thank you so much to Sophie. I can't wait to meet you when you come down here to Atlanta. That'd be cool for you guys to see. Maybe we could vlog or something like that. Who's to say? Anyways, I love you guys. Be safe today. Make sure you're taking all the negative energy in like Sophie taught us and sending out sparkles and love and lightning bolts and hearts and hugs and all that other stuff. Be the difference and change you want to see in the world. And with that, vote for me for president of um, the United States of um, we don't give a fuck. <laughs> Love you guys. Be sure to pray and kegel. Bye.